hello friends welcome to our channel google galaxy today we are going to discuss the ads option isotherm we know that that if i am having a piece of iron it will corrode itself after a particular if i just place in the in the moisture or i can say or in a or in an open it will corrode itself after a particular limit of time so what is happening on this iron rod this iron piece we say a chemical adsorption taking place the number of gas particles were keep on striking this metal surface which is the cause of corrosion which is a cause of lack of which is which is the cause of decrease in actual strength of this iron piece decrease in actual strength of iron piece after few years what we will say it colors become changing changes because some of the gas particle water particles liquid as well as gas adsorb on this surface adsorb on the surface this substance which is stick to the stick to the surface we called as adsorbate we call it as adsorbate and this surface we call it as ad adsorbent and this surface we call it as adsorbent remember one thing that the two main factors are very much important to affect the adsorption the process we call it as this adsorbent and adsorbent the overall process we call it as adsorption the two main factors the two important things which can affect this adsorbent the stickiness of adsorbent and the adsorbent and that two main points two main factors which can affect the process of adsorption the two process are temperature and pressure by changing the condition of temperature and pressure we can change the extent of the limit of adsorption if i just say by decreasing the temperature we can we can stick the adsorbent to a maximum amount amount on this surface on this solid surface we are talking about the isotherms when we say isotherms what does it mean iso therms iso means same therms means temperature therms means temperature so we are going to plot a graph between the quantity of substance to be which is going to stick on the surface and the pressure keeping the temperature same now it is clear to you what is the purpose of what is what does adsorption isotherm means or i can say when we are going to study this adsorption isotherms we plot graph between the amount of substance which is going to stick on this surface of this solid we express that amount of substance in a ratio of x divided by m x divided by m here m is mass of adsorbent mass of adsorbent whereas x means the mass of adsorbent mass of adsorbent this is the adsorbent the mass of adsorbent this is what scientist calculate the amount of substance stick to this surface by taking the ratio and plot a graph as according to, by taking the ratio keeping the temperature constant by changing the pressure by changing the pressure 
remember one thing this isotherm will be drawn this is a condition while we are doing this topic remember one thing in mind that adsorption that adsorption is reversible process is reversible process remember th this thing and adsorbate and adsorbent both are in closed container this is the most important point otherwise the process will never be a reversible in nature the process the overall taking process process happening in the closed container in the closed container when this process is happening in the closed container a stage is reached when the amount of gas adsorbed is equal to the amount of gas deabsorbed remember one thing when these are what does reversible means reversible means that the amount of gas stick to to surface stick to surface reversible means what does reversible means reversible means that the gas which is stick to the surface will going to leave the surface or we can say left the surface when this when this whole process these gas particle if this process is happening in the closed container but what the scientist observe the scientists observe on the observation of the scientist and the nobel and nobel prize was awarded to those scientist so their theory can never be wrong we have to learn this theory as it is what they said they said if the process is taken place in a closed container then it must be a reversible process the amount of gas stick to the surface is equal to the amount of gas leaving the surface leaving the surface when this condition reaches we call this condition as equilibrium stage we call this as equilibrium stage and another thing the amount of substance amount of gas stick to this surface we can express that gas in terms of mathematics by using the ratio of mass of adsorbate and the mass of adsorbent since we are having the term isotherm it means same temperature we can plot with the help of this amount of substance and the pressure at constant temperature and that curve that the output curve we call it as adsorption isotherm we call that as adsorption isotherm as i told earlier that when the equilibrium stage reaches the amount of gas stick to the surface is equals to the amount of gas leaving the surface both are equally it means no further gas is going to stick that surface or i can say there will be no further increase there will be no further increase in the maximum value of stickness of gas to the surface so we call that stage as as saturation state saturation state at saturation state there will be no increase in the value of stickiness of gas in that stage is called saturation state no doubt there will be leaving and the stickiness of gas will keep on doing same the amount of gas leaving the surface is equal to the amount of gas stick and sticking to the surface but no there but there will be no exceed in the value of amount of gas sticking to the surface sticking to the surface we can draw these isotherms with the two types one is
Frondelich adsorption isotherm as it is as it is based on the name of the scientist what does this scientist say this when this scientist was performing an experiment in a laboratory what he found he found that at constant temperature changing the pressure the amount of gas amount of substance sticking to the surface changes he observe three things the first thing what he observe at low pressure and he makes and he made a a mathematical expression we learn that mathematically expression as it is what he drive he drive during an experiment what he found he found that in a closed container when an equilibrium is achieved or i can say when saturation state is achieved temperature is constant it is a reversible pro process at low pressure the graph is straight we need to learn as it is graph is straight line as i told earlier that a nobel prize was given to the scientist so the theory never become failed straight line a nobel prize was given to him so it never be a wrong theory these all things was absorbed by the scientist during its experiment and the results are printed into our books so now on what but we'll say at low pressure graph will be straight line what he found he found that the amount of gas stick to the surface we can ex express that amount of gas in the form of ratio in the terms of mathematically the amount of gas stick to the ratio stick to the surface is directly proportional to the pressure is directly proportional to the pressure of gas as we increase the gas of pressure the amount of substance stick to the surface will be keep on increasing or removing this constant sign i can write it as here k is acting as constant here k is acting as constant constant means surroundings that which can never be altered so when the scientist increase the increase pressure when the scientist increase the pressure or i can say when a scientist high the pressure what he found that that the overall amount of gas adsorbed it remains constant because during that time equilibrium was achieved becomes constant so for a constant or we can write at this value as remember these values we need not to think about it we just we, we just need to learn the results it's all up to your teacher whether he or she perform experiment in the laboratory to show how this actually happens for the third case when when an intermediate stage pressure when the intermediate pressure achieved when the intermediate pressure achieved what what the scientist found that the the amount of gas adsorbed depend upon the power of pressure depend upon the power of pressure he gave this relation that during the intermediate from higher to when the pressure is increasing from lower to higher the amount of gas is changing is the is the is the change in the value of n from n is equals to 0 to 1 0 to 1 here n is constant whole number 
depending upon the type of adsorbate and adsorbent here k is constant if i just write this value here k is acting as constant if i just take the log solving that log what we will found log xm is equals to k log pressure here n is constant if we plot the graph between this log x over m and the log p this one is constant over here a straight line is a straight line a straight line we observe a straight line is obtained this slope line is equals to the 1 over n 1 over n and intercepts the log x over m this is the part of a straight line of your mathematics concept which is a part which is a concept in the in the straight line topic this is whole about the adsorption isotherms